Warren. Today we're at All Holistic Health Fair, and we have urban health initiatives here on site with information um, and with some screening. Um, tell us today about your program and briefly give us some of the important factors we should be watching out for today. So hi, I'm Maya. I'm a community health worker for Urban Healthcare Initiative Program, UHIP. And we are a nonprofit community organization that does health education, and we're based in Orange. But we go around to different cities. We go East Orange, Newark, Irvington, Jersey City. And we just give out to black, Hispanic, uh, other uh, ma marginalized communities who need inf health information. You know, knowledge is power, as we like to say. So we do workshops about uh, cardiovascular disease, COPD cancer, hypertension. We do healthy cooking classes. To, we bring out prof professional chefs. So definitely look out for us. Uh, we are in churches, community centers, libraries, anywhere you can find us, we're there. There you have it. Um, they've also um, agreed to partner with us as we go on a door-to-door -door senior tour to give out information. So we want to thank you guys for all that you do. So you've been consistent about the fact that public health matters. Tell us about that. Yes, how you doing? My name is Rose. Um, it is important for people to go and get checked out. It's important to go get the COVID vaccine testing done because with everything that's going on, you never know. Is COVID it, over? Not yet. Not by a long shot. But what happens is that sometimes you're walking around and not realize that you're actually walking around with COVID. It happened to me and my family. It was 10 of us in the family. Two were sick and turned out that everybody had COVID without even knowing it. Still on the watch. So, Yep. So it's still get tested. It still get tested. You know, get checked out. You could also come and get free sample. You know, the free samples to take home with you. Yeah. You know, if you're not feeling good, it's also always good to go get. You know, call the doctor and just make sure you're good because you never know. You you may be walking around with you know with it and not not even know it. That's it. Thank you. Knowledge is power. Know your situation, um, whatever it may be, and then get treated. Get to a doctor. Um, get to some of our professionals and our community services, and they'll link you with the right information. I do want to announce that SHOP also has a feature where they will come to your home um, to give various screenings and to give information as well. want uh, SHOP to comment on that as well. And it's all about holistic health here. We're at City Hall in the council chambers, but we've turned it into a health fair. And I have Rutgers Cancer Institute. Um, you guys are on the ground with public health, and you're in a bunch of areas. Orange includes your area. Mammograms, why are they important? Uh, mammograms, because we want to get you screened. So God forbid, you know, you do have, that you're having to biopsy. We have to get you treated as soon as possible. So I give a mammogram. If you feel something irregular, you recommend they go to a doctor, get it tested, and find out what their situation is. Doctors will be there to, you know, evaluate. Doctor the, yes, doctors are on site. They'll evaluate the mammogram. If you need further testing, we'll be there to do the follow-up. Health information and public health in your home. That's what CHOP does. Tell us about that program. So my name is Haja. So we provide, um, we are under the CHOP, uh, under Dr. Salerno office. So we do the homebounds for patients that can, is that really homebound, yeah. that can travel maybe sometimes to the doctor's office. So we do that. We can come in and give you your COVID vaccines, uh, your flu shots, and check your blood pressure and do your glucose right tests. Right the comfort of your own home. Right the comfort of your home. Beautiful. Yes. Um, so there's a number on the screen. Is that the correct contact number? Yes. Very good. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. There you have it. Shop through Dr. Salerno's office, who is right here um, in Orange. They'll come to you um, to administer a certain test. Please give them a call and let them know what your needs and are. And we've taken City Hall Council Chambers and turned it into a virtual health fair. Um, and I'm here with Newark Community Health Centers. But for the Newark Health uh the health centers, um, it's not just Newark. What's that all about? We service um, in both in Orange, East Orange, Irvington, and in some places in Newark. Cause we expanded from Newark when it first was originally founded into the different um, communities. Cause they do, well, you know, we do service the same kind of individuals in all the communities that we have. Right. So by expanding, we're giving quality care and different services and resources to the people in the community. Beautiful. Federally funded, um, get you access into a lot of places. Tell us about, and I know my health, um, the, the, the health nurse for Orange has already approached you. Tell us about the possible uh, going mobile. 
Um, for Global Moment, we recently received a fund um, or a grant for us to have a mobile unit. So our mobile unit is basically as big as a school bus, NJ Transit bus. Um, so we're working with different organizations within the communities to see if we could provide services. So, so basically, we'll be like the bring it to your home kind of service. Instead of you going out, we come to you. Um, it, could, it will include medical and dental services. So we're just in a partnership. Well, we're processes of just having finalizing like certain documents and insurances and stuff like that. And then we'll be able to partner with different organizations and offer with you guys, if possible, in the future to bring the services like the senior housing buildings, um, areas that people aren't mobile to really get to the services and like that. We're looking about summertime, maybe? Hopefully about summertime, yes. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. Look for um, this mobile van, but most most importantly, look for this organization um, because you go into places where it's really a need yeah. and you stay there for a sustained period of time and you bring deep resources. Yeah, so for um, a lot of our, co our outreach um, organ well, our outreach and centers and resources, so we provide COVID, uh, glucose, and blood pressure, but we also provide health education as well. Because without educating individuals, they wouldn't know that they need these medical help and these resources and these services. So by providing that education, they'll understand, okay, I do need to go to check for my diabetes. I do need to go check for screening for colon cancer. I do have to get checked for my heart, or I need to go to OBGYN for my reproductive organs again and stuff like that. So by providing that education, which we do do with our health educators and community health workers, we let people know about the services, and even not, if not with us, but with other people. Nice. Um, information that I'm always concerned about, um, given the number of single uh, parent households that have very young children, um, baby clinic information, baby health, tell us about that. In regards for that, we do have the Healthy Start program. So the Healthy Start program could help, again, not even just single moms, but all moms, but they could help be like that partner to let them know what resources their child would need even before they're pregnant and during their pregnancy and after pregnancy. So we have that program to help them with that. But also when they come to our OBGYN programs that we do have at the clinics, they will let them know, or the pediatrics, let them know like what services and refer them to like the different clinics in our clinic to let them know like, this is what you need to do. Your child needs to be up to date for this, or this is this information. Um, here is this program you can refer to. So we always have like a handhold referral-based program in our clinics. Nice. So it's a place where you can go to get multiple levels of information, um, but they're plugged in to various resources. So please, the, the numbers on the screen is correct, together with that email address. Um, thank you. Call that number get information, get appointments, find out where their clinics are, um, and get involved from babies all the way through seniors. Yep, 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 with every, everything, nutrition, everything. All levels, all ages, um, here's where they're doing a fine job. Thank you for all that you do. Okay. Um, I have my community outreach worker, Parthenia Thomas. She just joined our team in uh, December, and she's assisting us again with the outreach and letting everyone know about our services we have in the clinic. Nice. Ms. Thomas, tell us a quick word about why uh, outreach is the most important thing you can have in a clinical setting. Um, to reach people in the community that cannot come to the clinic so they can get the services that they need, especially COVID vaccines, to be up to date with the COVID vaccines. Outreach, if you don't know, you can't get the information. Uh, Ms. Thomas, make sure she gets out there into the community to draw you in to make sure that you have better health. Um, thank you guys for all that you do. We're um, talking all things holistic health, and one of the uh, chief operators in the holistic health business is Care Well Health. Uh, many of us uh, know them as under their formal name of East Orange General Hospital. Um, but since this transportation, since this, many of us know them at East Orange General Hospital. But since this transformation, uh, new resources, new staff, uh, new technology, and most importantly, new and improved ways of reaching out to the community. Um, why was that dynamic so important to this transformation? Because CareWell Health is your community hospital. And if you're the community hospital, you have to be out in the community so the community knows about all the services that we offer. You should not have to leave your community to get the best quality care. And we want to treat you like family. Being treated like family and caring for all of your needs. Um, one of the things that I like about CareWell is that everyone is part of the community health organizational purpose and drive. Um, we even pluck our doctors out of the ER to come out to the community. Uh, doctor, tell us what that's all about. So, um, CareWell itself is a huge community hospital and when you come to our ER, we treat every patient as if they're a family. So we make sure they get the best care. Um, we treat them as if they're at any top 
top hospital in the country. We make sure that their care is as equal or better than any hospital that they'll go to. Thank you. That's what it's all about. Um, but CareWell uh, came to Mayor Warren and said, Mayor, when you have something, we're going to be there. And you've been there ever since. Tell us about that commitment. Well, we are definitely committed to our community. As Tanya said, we are the community hospital. So we don't have community hospitals in our neighboring towns. So we have taken on the charge to make sure that all of the community, t the towns and all of our neighbors are familiar with CareWell Health because we are there to serve the community. We're there to serve our elders, our adults, our children if they need to come to the emergency department. But our CEO, Paige Dvorak, has made a commitment to this community. And so all of the staff rallies behind her in making sure that we get the word out that not only are we the community hospital, not only do we provide the medical and the behavioral health, but we do it in a spirit of excellence as well. So come to Care Well, come check us out, come visit us, and we know that you will have a great experience. Experience. Just tell us real briefly um, that sometimes you will host small senior groups uh, in your cafeteria. Absolutely. We will have since we have a great cafeteria. We have a great food service staff. The food is excellent. The prices are reasonable. And so we invite groups all the time to come to the hospital to have lunch with us so that they can, you know, know what the community hospital, what know what it looks like, know the upgrades that we've made. So we encourage seniors or whoever, whoever wants to come to come to the hospital come check us out and come be a part of our family the care well family that's what it's all about thank you ladies for all that you do i'm here with the state of new jersey community for i'm mayor warren i'm here with the commission for the blind and visually impaired of the state of new jersey what a magnificent resource for a population um that's not always um looked after or paid attention to but here you are today thank you mayor and the city of orange for having us here today uh, my name is carmen morales and i am a representative with the new jersey commission for the blind and visually impaired um uh, the Oh gosh, I hate public speaking. <laughs> Sorry. Um, about 50% of all cases of blindness and vision loss can be prevented um, through a free screening as well as appropriate eye care. Um, so New Jersey Commission for the Blind services about 10,000 individuals per year um, and um, throughout the entire state of New Jersey. So we do offer independent living skills, we offer education services as well as vocational rehabilitation services and technology training for um, individuals in the community. Very nice. Tell me if you would, um, sometimes we, we just don't pay attention as closely to our eyes and getting screening, and a lot of times we don't find screening opportunities available. Do you have that available across the state? Do we have to come to the office? How, how do you deal with that? So all of our services are in the community, and we do have all our information listed on our website, and individuals can also call each of our regional offices. Um, so we have a northern regional office in the city of Newark. We have a central regional office in Freehold, as well as a southern regional office in Cherry Hill, and a satellite office in Atlantic City. So all of that information can be found on our website. Very good. There you have it. You'll see the link to the website. Um, once you go on um, the Orange website, you'll see their website. You can go directly to their website, or you can call the number or access the uh, website on your screen that you see um, any information about um, not just the blind, but the visually impaired and those who need training um, to uh, uh, for those who need training to be able to advocate for themselves and move around into the workforce and into technology. Thank you for all that you do.